second. Um, and I don't really expect you. I don't really expect you to have any thoughts about it. No, I'll have thoughts. Because I sound. I this is even crazier for me than more Murray. This is something I heard about in 2012. <clears throat> it's fucking very. Have you ever heard of the hundredth monkey? Effect. No. The hundredth monkey. The hundredth monkey effect. Okay, it's this. It's this phenomenon thing that was really popular in like the 60s and 70s. That was really talked about in books and movies. And there's a band called the Hundredth Monkey, which I actually think is a really good name for a band. But it's real fucking nutty. So bear with me. <clears throat> okay. So it all has to do with like collective consciousness of all human beings, right? And and while I was doing some more research on it, it's. It's kind of reminding me what we talked about with those events of the 90s, how all of a sudden there was sort of all these kind of barely similar events going on. Remember with like Columbine, Unabomber, Waco, Ruby Ridge, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And so that that there's examples of this stuff throughout history. And I think that's one that nobody's brought up. But things like Germany in the 30s and 40s, how there was all sort of this collective way of thinking that like a whole country, uh, you know, um, signed up for. And then there's the thing people talk about, the four-minute mile, too. Apparently, everyone was, was trying to get the four-minute mile. Everyone was trying to hit a four-minute mile. People trying all the time. Couldn't, nobody could do it. One guy did it, and then after the one guy did it, all of a sudden, a bunch of other people were able to do it, and it wasn't like, it wasn't like more people were trying. It was just all of a sudden, everybody could hit the four-minute mile. And so that's another example that people bring up. So, and the idea is always sold as like, change yourself first, be the change you want to see. Like before you fix the world, you have to fix yourself. Sort of like, let me subscribe to this way of thinking first. And the idea is like once, a, you know, a bunch of people start to subscribe to a way of thinking, I guess. Okay, but here's the thing, the, here's the story or whatever. So in like 1952, post World War, right after World War II, there was there's these groups of science scientists on these islands south of Japan, right? And there's these monkeys there. There's a bunch of monkeys on the mainland island of Japan, and then there's a bunch of monkeys on other little islands just off the coast of that mainland. So these scientists are studying them. They're doing very detailed <clears throat> um, research daily of these monkeys scientists on each groups of islands um so they started giving the monkeys sweet potatoes <clears throat> in 1952 dropping them on the beaches at first the monkeys couldn't really even figure out how to eat the sweet potatoes then they could only figure out how to eat some of the sweet potatoes but not all of them especially the ones covered in sand so one monkey realized she could this 18 month female monkey could walk out into the ocean and wash the sweet potato in the ocean wash the sand off of it, and then eat it. And there's also an idea that uh, the salt helped make the potato taste better. She taught another monkey. That monkey taught another monkey. And it was actually the younger monkeys teaching the older monkeys on this one island. So slowly, over a five-year period, one, it was, they were literally watching one monkey teach another monkey one-to-one-to-one-to-one to one to one to one so they could eat these sweet potatoes. Um... Then in 1958, <coughs> this had kept happening across this whole island. Then in 1958, this is how the story goes, and it's that um, after all these monkeys on the one island learned, let's just say, for argument's sake, 99 monkeys had learned. And then once the 100th monkey had learned that behavior, that morning, say at 11 o'clock that morning, within a few hours all the other groups of scientists on the other islands and the mainland said, said, holy shit, all these monkeys out of nowhere just knew how to wash the potatoes. Right? So once a critical mass was hit with the hundredth monkey, all of a sudden, the, like, the learned behavior had appeared in all the other monkeys in the surrounding area, right? You mean, That's you the mean whole th on other islands where they didn't have contact? Is that what this test is? Correct. So like they had yeah. never, so they had never they didn't have the sweet potatoes. They had the sweet potatoes. They didn't know how to wash them. On the other hand, they never figured it out. Yeah. And uh -huh. then, 
on the other island, they had figured it out, and they'd been doing it for a while and teaching all the monkeys around, and then all of a sudden, yeah. the other island, every monkey just understood. With, within a day. So, the thing is, so that's the story, right? That's the story that all these books and crazy stuff have been based off of, lectures or whatever. Quote, this is a quote from the head scientist running the project. He's like, <clears throat> he's like, let's say for argument's sake that the number was 99 and that at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, one further convert was added to the fold in, an, in the usual way. But the addition of the hundredth monkey apparently carried the number across some sort of threshold, pushing it through a kind of critical mass, because by that evening, almost everyone was doing it. Not only that, but the habit seemed to have jumped natural barriers and to have appeared spontaneously in colonies on the other islands and on the mainland. Um, so when people sort of sell, and this idea can be applied to a bunch of stuff, so it's always sold as like, you could be the hundredth monkey. You, ha you should start thinking this way, and then you could be the hundredth monkey that reaches that critical mass that transforms other people's thoughts around your country or whatever. And here, so here's the thing. That study has basically been debunked as like, you can't base anything off this study because it turns out it was they weren't they didn't include a lot of critical information needed to classify it as oh this is proof of this is evidence right because they're just using the hundredth monkey they didn't have actual numbers they didn't have stuff like that there was documentation of monkeys swimming from island to island stuff like that and um, so it's not it's not actual hardcore science. It's just used sort of by these hippies and stuff like that as, as an actual thing of uh, collective consciousness. It's a cool idea. Um, it is a, it's an interesting idea, and people say, like, if you look at human history, some of the hundredth monkey phenomenon ring, rings true. Like, around the world, tribal behavior arose at approximately the same time. Religions arose at approximately the same time. Kingship arose at approximately the same time. Stateship arose. Things like that. And there's, so there's a lot of sort of these weird examples. And I was thinking about the 90s, the shit that was going down as a one that nobody, I hadn't seen brought up anywhere, but that we did. And like Germany is a good example, you know, Nazi Germany and the four minute mile and stuff like that. It's fucking, it's a weird thing to think about because when you think about collective consciousness, I think that there's a lot to be said for that in the way that everybody sort of, like the whole world's thinking sort of changes, right? I think there's, I think you could definitely prove that. But what you can't prove, what you can't prove because they didn't document their shit well enough is that there's a certain number of people that have to be hit and then all of a sudden the rest just go like that, right? I, dude, I haven't heard anything like this. It's a, I mean, it's a cool idea, but obviously someone else has done different studies. I mean, if, they're, if they debunked it, why wouldn't someone else yeah, just... Yeah, you'd think. You'd just do the same so, study. This morning when I was putting my, some of these notes together, there was this really weird study I came across done by Rupert Sheldrake, <clears throat> who I've heard his name before, but... Um, and I don't know if this is even connected, but there was a study with dogs where they wanted to find out, they wanted to find out when you leave the house, does your dog wait for you by the door the whole time? Because when people come home, their dog's been waiting for them, either in the window or by the door. And they wanted to know when does this dog start waiting for its humans to come home? Does it start when he hears the car coming down the street? Does it start when he hears the door close in the driveway? Does he sit there the whole time and wait? When does the dog start? So what they did is they put cameras up in the house and they didn't let the humans go to like their regular routine job so that a dog, the dog would just sort of know the routine. They made the people go out to like a spontaneous cocktail party or, you know, go out to dinner just at a spur of the moment. So that happened. And then they, and they found out that the dog actually went by the door and started waiting for the humans when the humans were at the restaurant and decided that they wanted to leave. Right? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Really? So, yeah, and there's a video, there's a this really weird video I watched where there's uh the video of the dog in the house and there's a timestamp on it going by this ticking by the second. And there's a video on the people 
at the restaurant taken by the second. And when the people and the dogs like lying on the floor by the chair. And when the people say, um, all right, let's head out. Let's head home. And they start to walk out to the parking lot or whatever. And within 11 seconds, the dog had gotten up and went and waited by the door. And I was like, whoa, dude. <laughs> but and apparently there had been studies after that trying to debunk that and failing at debunking it. And I'm like, I'm like, I guess that's kind of the same ballpark yeah. as the whole hundredth monkey thing. It's all like just, you know, I mean, really, it's just kind of like telepathy or what, you know, essentially like. Yeah, it's just that it's just kind of the idea that everything's connected in the in the thought process, which I think is true. But you can't if you're trying to make the argument that everyone's consciousness is connected in some way, you can't use the hundredth monkey just because even though they were watching these monkeys daily, their research was kind of just fucked because there's just too much. They just didn't do it the right way, apparently, even though it's this phenomenon that's referenced over and over again. Hmm. Do you believe? Do you so, believe it? Do you believe that like we're somehow, you know, hive mind? Yeah. But the th the thing that that study was trying to do was see like you know once that hundredth person was hit, then the rest of them are just instant within a few hours, right? Yeah. And I don't know about that. That's that's real weird to even think about. But as far as, like, the hive mind thing goes of all the people, yeah, definitely. Because it seems like, you know, everybody reaches a point where they're like, okay, this behavior is no longer acceptable. And then everybody's just like, okay. You know? But then it's like the four-minute mile thing and, like, Germany in the 30s and 40s of being like, you know, Jews are just, they need to be dealt with. And then everybody I, just sort of subscribe, subscribe to that way of thinking. I love, I like, I like the studies you're talking about. I'm having a hard time making that connection that you're making. Like, with the Nazi thing, and, because to me, like, all those things, the four-minute mile is the closest one, but with, like, Nazis and shit like that, it's like, I, I think that just really had way more to do with what was happening, like, economically and politically and, you know, it wasn't, I don't think it was a bunch of people just like, it, fuck Jews. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, fuck Jews. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like, it wasn't that, yeah. I don't think that was it at all. There was so much. I see what you're saying. There was so much, <laughs> so much more to that. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, it was so complex. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. People were just pissed. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't just like. Yeah. It wasn't like, yeah, one no, day, one day he f fucking, you know. Frank is just like, hey, hey, neighbor. And then the next day he's like, F fuck that guy. You know what I mean? Like, I. Yeah. Uh, right. And he doesn't even know how he reached the conclusion. It was just all of a sudden he yeah. was like, fuck that guy. Yeah. yeah. But I like. No, that... that's, that's, a, that's a good point. I like. I, yeah, I like it. It's interesting. I, it's one of those things you fucking. Yeah. You'll just. It's like. But if you go, if, if you go down a YouTube. Thing. Yeah. Oh, if some... you go down a YouTube rap rabbit hole about it you kind of just run into all these hippies in their backyards in like yoga poses being like you know we can change the world and bring Ugh. world peace to everybody I mean, if because i believe if you start thinking if you start thinking that you know love is everything and it should all be peace and then i do and then we get another person and another person and another person eventually we'll get a big enough group that you know we can take over the the collective consciousness of the world and everybody will be on our side. I mean, this is this is flirting Fucking with uh, like the secret. Did you ever or like uh, all yeah. that shit? Like uh -huh. uh, quantum physics, yeah. like blah 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 blah. Kind of yeah. the same fucking ballpark. You know what I mean? That you can kind of emit yeah. the energy out there and affect things around you. Yeah, and I don't know if that dog thing is even related. It, that's just fucking that was really weird to stumble across because I didn't see anything saying you know this study was bullshit like you do with the hundredth monkey huh. it was, so that was fucking weird I don't know it's it's just too nutty for me to even think about every time it crosses my brain I'm like stop 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 <laughs> don't think about it <laughs> yeah I yeah yeah interesting very um what you got uh, a quick story. Not, not this isn't secret story time, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> okay. jump back to. I guess I have a lot of stuff related to that sewage plant. Uh, sorry if I talk.